What's good, YouTube? This is your boy RJ, man. And today's video is concerning, very concerning in regards to NBA 2K25, my team. Now, we all were excited, maybe a little bit, about having the auction house back after losing it from last year. However, when it comes down to the auction house, we know over the previous years during the my team stages that people were buying MT. Now, if you don't know what buying MT is, compared to last year, you were able to buy and purchase MT from 2K, where they offered you to buy VC or offered you to buy MT. You were allowed to do that because 2K had seen that people were buying MT from third party sources from 2K23 to 2K22 and so forth. So at the end of the day, 2K has decided to come down well, the team from 2K decided to come down with a plan to take away the, the, the perks of utilizing MT in NBA 2K24. So now that we're here in NBA 2K25, we have these issues of that. The fact that the auction house is back, it is great. However, being able to utilize the auction house and the ability to purchase cards with MT that you've earned in the game. Now, you can't purchase MT this year because they brought the auction house back. It doesn't make any sense to be able to buy MT and then go to the auction house and just buy any cards you want, right? So they took away the, the purchase purchases of buying MT through 2K. However, they have chimed down on ways of, all right, if you buy MT, we're going to catch you. They have an escrow where we're going to catch you and we're going to actually look at these transactions to pretty much stop you from buying MT from third party sources. There is a downfall right now that is going on that when you purchase a certain card tier over a certain threshold amount, which that's what I'm noticing they will cancel your transaction because they believe it is unusual activity. And I'm gonna show you here, right here in, in this uh, screenshot or pretty much I'm in the game right now. So you're gonna see going on right here. Now, it's saying that we have identified an unusual activity associated with the recent auction house transaction. As a precaution, the transaction has been reversed. The auction card and the my team points have been returned to the original buyer and seller. This action was undertaken to safeguard the integrity of my team. Now, what is that saying? It's pretty much telling you that, hey, this car right here, pretty much you, you should have been paying for that amount for this card. This is a coach card, an Emerald coach card, Mike Brown, that was bid only. Now, what does bid mean, right? Bid means that the highest bidder wins this card. So. Without further ado, if I post up a card that's bid only for four hours, I'm trying to make some MT back because I got that card and people want that card. It's a hot commodity right now, right? So why are you canceling? Because I want that card. I need that card actually to unlock Diamond Steve Kerr as my coach. I can get him if I get this card. So now that I have to redeem this MT back to my account, right? Let's go ahead and search Mike Brown coach card again. And let's just see. Because at the end of the day, this is what I mean. This is what I mean in regards to 2K. You thought it was a great idea, right? However, it was a bad idea, you know? So at the end of the day, everybody expecting this card to sell. I guess y'all. So what I'm noticing, I think 2K is like, all right, only Emerald cards can sell. They should only sell probably between 1,000 to maybe 15,000 MT. Ruby cards should probably sell between 1,000 to pro uh, approximately maybe 30, maybe 28K MT. Uh, Amethyst, depending on depending on how rare the Amethyst is, should sell between maybe 1K, not even 1K. But we gonna say, if you get a snipe, 1K, sure. But the maximum for Amethyst, they're probably looking at, you could probably get away with a 80K, close to 100, maybe, I don't know. Now, there's only a few diamonds in the game right now. So diamond cards, you could put them up for a bid and probably get away and they don't send it to you at all. But since it's an emerald, this is 65K MT. I'm going to buy it. I bought it. Now I gotta wait for escrow. I gotta wait for escrow to be able to, now I bought this card before for 60K MT and they canceled it too earlier. I put, I put a tweet in out there on Twitter saying that, hey, 2K, if y'all ban me, just know that I'm coming after y'all. I'm gonna let you know what it is because at this point, y'all are literally saying that I can't get what I want. No matter the, no matter the amount. If, if it's not what y'all like as far as in the price, y'all saying it's not right. Let the auction house be what it is. Y'all know 
what when people are trying to actually buy MT. Don't go overboard. And that's what they're doing. They're going overboard. Like, come on now. Come on now. Let's stop and think about y'all thought this was a great idea. It is the escrow. Sure. Sure. But you got to take off them automatic limitations because I know that y'all have an automatic system that y'all set certain tier cards up to say, all right, you know what? This car right here can only sell for this amount. This car can sell for this amount. This car can go for a bid and whatever the amount it sells for, cool. But stop with this, man. Come on, 2K. If this is going to be the reason that y'all are banning people right now, early in the stages, it's, there's always something, right? There's always something, bro. What do you guys think about this situation that's going on right now in mid 2K25, my team, when it comes to the auction house, man? So far, it was going good until this came about. And now we've been seeing people getting banned for situations like this. And if I get banned, like I said, I posted my tweet in advance so they can see between me buying the card, canceling it, bidding for the card, canceling it, and I just bought the card again. Are you gonna cancel it again? Like I said before, this is your boy RJ, back with another video for you guys. Make sure you hit the like button, sub if you're new, join Laser Crew, you know we rocking, you know we do. This is highly upsetting. Um, for those that are out there, just be aware. I'm not gonna say be careful because you you still you're doing the right thing as far as you want this card. Go go after the card. If you got the MT, go get the card that you want. That's the purpose of the auction house. Work the auction house to try to get the cards that you need and you want, right? Come on, 2K. What we doing? Let's make it happen. Let's get on top of this. Hey, push this video, share this video. If y'all got to tag Ronnie, y'all got to tag all the people that's a part of the 2K team in the video. Push it, man, because at this point, the only way we can get it out there is by pushing words, pushing videos in regards to this. So let's make it happen.